boy toy? I have one too. None of this is my fault. He made me control Superman. What's his name? He calls himself Hush. The events of the past months reach as high as Superman and as low as the Joker. All were set into motion by Hush. <laughs> Hi, this is Mark Murrell from Toon Barn. We're here at the 50th anniversary of San Diego Comic Con. We're talking about Batman Hush. And I'm here with Batman and Nightwing, Jason O'Mara and Sean Marr. How are you? What's up? <laughs> so in this one, you're with Catwoman a lot. So I have to ask you, who's your favorite Catwoman of all time? I, listen, I'm not kidding. I, I know there's been some great, you know, there's like the Michelle Fibers and everything. But um, there's something amazing about Jennifer Morrison's performance in this because it's seriously sexy. And I sort of found myself getting a little bit hot and bothered over, you know, essentially a cartoon. So I just think the job she did and the animators is just fantastic. So uh, this is my Catwoman, so I'm going to say Jennifer Morrison, yeah. Do you have a favorite? You got hot and bothered by a cartoon? <laughs> yeah. Start rubbing um, my pants. Do I have... I don't know. I think there was a little homage... Or, is there a little tongue-in-cheek... Can I say that? A little tongue-in-cheeky homage to... <laughs> tongue-in-cheeky. Uh, to uh, Eartha Kitt. And doesn't... Possibly. Jennifer has a little yeah. moment. Yeah. I don't know. I, can, I don't know. I think Eartha Kitt would be. All right. Would be mine. Probably. Okay. All right. So, being that you're one of Bruce's most trusted strings that he has, his family, you know, how does Nightwing really help Batman in this this like who done it? Well, um, I mean, I hold him at night when he's crying. Ha ha. How do I help you? I don't know. Help me. Help me. Batman, help me. I'm trying to think the difference between the, the graphic novel and the film, because um, in the graphic novel he helps him probably a little bit more than he helps him in the film, but uh, by the same token, Batman needs all the help he can get from his, from his allies. And You know, I think the thing about this movie is you've got the classic Batman villains, but you've also got the classic Batman uh, heroes and and Night Nightwing's been a very big part of this sort of continuity of uh, of uh, movies. So um, yeah, he, he needs him by his side, or he simply wouldn't be able to overcome this challenge. And the last question: What has four wheels, is worth eleven million dollars, and flies? The Batmobile. Batwing? I don't know what. <laughs> Four wheels cost $11 million in flies. Well, he said Batmobile. Is that not the right answer? That's right. Okay. The Batmobile. Thank God I'm here. <laughs> I thought you moved on to me because that was wrong. Batwing, bat whatever. I'll see what your answer was. Bat bus. Okay. All right. Well, Batman Hush comes out on Blu-ray on August 6th and on digital on July 20th. So thank you for joining us here at Toon Barn. Thanks for having me. Thank you. I know I've got Firefly fans out there, right? That is Nightwing Sean Moore! <laughs> it's the tenth time on, as Batman, believe it or not, ten films as Batman. You hopefully are watching him in, uh, on Amazon in Man in the High Castle. Jason O'Mara! <laughs> Sean, this is, uh, I don't remember Nightwing being this funny. It seemed like you got all the best lines. Maybe Ernie packed it for you, but what was that like for you this time around? Did you, Ernie? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I like I, I like Nightwing. I feel like we all like all your characters. Yeah. Always gets to bring the humor a little bit. <laughs> no, Ernie loves Dick Grayson and Nightwing. So. <laughs> yeah, he, likes, he likes me the best. <laughs> um, you know, it's fun. <laughs> we like sassy night. We just say <laughs> Jason, ten films, and you finally get a featured stage performance of Batman. The featured Batman. <laughs> it's like a game. It's like. 
here in San Diego Comic Con with a standalone Batman movie and you're playing Batman. I mean, what the hell? Fuck it, list. Every time we do one of them, every time we record one, he goes, Do we get Comic Con? <laughs> Yeah, I did feel a bit jipped there for a while, because I was sort of at the Paley Centre in New York for an awfully long time. Uh, nothing wrong with those places. Um, yeah, especially the bit where, uh, the, the Clayface sequence, because it reminded me of watching Batman the Animated Series with my son when he was young. And my favourite episodes were Feats of Clay, parts one and two. And for some reason, amazing. And for some reason, it was when I was watching those with him, I thought, I wonder will I ever get a chance to play Batman? That's just weird to be here, like, you know, 15 years. And he's going over there, he's 15 years old, he's massive now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, honestly, would he prefer to be here in a panel with Kevin Conroy, probably. <laughs> Stay safe, Bruce. I didn't hear a thing. What now? Riddler. <laughs> that C-lister? It's like they're all crawling out from under the carpets now. It might be none of my business, but I want you to know I'm for this thing. Thing? You and Selena. Bruce Selena? Anyway, I think she's good for you. She makes you... Less intense. Hold on. But if you're serious about her, you're going to have to tell her everything. Otherwise, it won't work. You're right. I am? It's none of your business. 